Happy Thursday, everyone, and welcome to the Thungry Thursday Beer of the Week Season 1 Finale, and today I'm sharing with you guys my five favorite beers from this season. Let's get started with number five, and that's Wachusett's Blue, a blueberry beer from my own state. It smells very good. It's a very nice blueberry smell. I do taste the blueberry, though the blueberry doesn't seem to be as strong of a flavor as some of the other blueberry beers. I believe on a scale of chuggability, one being not chuggable and five being chuggable, this is right there in the center. You do have to stop to get some air during your initial gulping, unless of course you develop a trick to breathe through your nose and release the gases at the same exact time. But this is a good beer. This is exactly how a beer should be. Coming in at number four is Drinking a Dead Guy. Today I'm trying Rogue Dead Guy Ale. It's very, very hoppy smelling. Kind of sweet. Dead Guy Ale is a Maybach style ale with a robust malt profile and a sweetness that is balanced by the liberal use of bittering hops. That is the sweetness that I'm tasting. I like it. I, I feel like this is a good beer for fall. I feel like this would be a nice fall beer to have sitting around a campfire. I like the logo. For number three, we have Drinking a Manta Ray. I'm trying Ballast Point Manta Ray. There we go, pretty cool. So the first thing that you're going to notice on this box is what caught my eye, and that is this awesome, awesome picture of this manta ray. This little, little bit of a bitterness to it towards the end there, but according to this, it has 8.5% alcohol by volume. Very, very bubbly. This girl is a bubbly one, wow. I'm going to have to say that even if they were charging $20 for this six-pack, I would probably buy it just to look at that cool logo, cool image every time I drink this beer. For the number two spot was the first non-chuggable beer that I ran into this season, but that doesn't mean it wasn't enjoyable, and I'm talking about Rosemary Baby. This is beer aged in rum barrels. Like I said, very nice smell to it. Very tasty. Now, as far as color goes... I do have to say this is a darker beer from what I can see. Nice and refreshing. Like I said, it's a heavy beer. It's not something that you want to chug down. It is very enjoyable. It's got a nice taste to it. The pumpkin is not too overpowering. The darkness on it is just right for a Halloween night or an All Hallows Eve. And finally, the number one spot, my favorite beer of season one, is Angry Orchard Green Apple. Now, I have never tried Green Apple or the Green Apple Hard Cider from Angry Orchard before, so I'm a little excited to try this. Green Apple is my favorite type of apple. And right off the bat, you can already smell the apple. And taste the apple. Wow. That is good. Okay. That is really good. It smells good. It tastes good. I love the color on this. I love the green that they chose. On a scale of 1 to 5, how likely am I to recommend this? 1 being not likely, 5 very, very likely, based on everything that I have told you up to this point in time. 5. Easily a 5. This is a damn good drink. If you like the color green, if you like green apples, if you like apple cider, if you've even liked apple juice, apple sauce, anything apple related, heck, if you don't even like apples, try this. It's good. All right, everyone, that is going to do it for season one. Thank you very much for watching this. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know what your favorite beer from this season was, and I'll see everybody in a couple of weeks. Peace, and thanks for watching.